Let's practice your English speaking and let's learn some useful idioms. Let's go. In today's lesson, we will be focusing on you speaking. This is a speaking lesson. In today's video, we will do a conversation. You will see a dialogue, a conversation on the screen. Now, first, I will read one half of the dialogue and you will read the other half. So I'll read the letters, the sentences that are in black. You read red. I want you to read it and try to read it as quickly as you can because this will be a native English-like speed when we do this conversation. Now, I will also be introducing a lot of idioms in this lesson. So make sure you watch until the very end because I will introduce the top five idioms from this conversation. You will also get a chance to read the other side as well. So there's lots of English practice today, right? So first you're going to read one side, then you'll read the other side, and then finally you'll learn five useful idioms. It's the perfect lesson to improve your speaking and vocabulary. In today's conversation, in today's dialogue, these two people are at a coffee shop, right? So it's a casual atmosphere. They're at a coffee shop and they're waiting in line to order their drinks. All right, so we have two people. We're going to have Emma and Jake. Emma and Jake. Now remember, I'll read black, you read red. Let's go. Hey Jake, long time no see. I've been good, thanks. Just been swamped with work. How about you? I totally get that. I feel like I'm constantly playing catch up. What's new with you? Oh, nice. I've heard yoga is great for stress. I should probably give it a shot myself. What kind of yoga are you doing? That sounds fun. I'd love to. I'm just grabbing a quick coffee first. I need a caffeine boost to kickstart my day. Tough choice. I'm going for a matcha latte today. I'm trying to cut down on my sugar. Absolutely. I'm looking forward to it. Great. See you soon. Okay, so that was the first time. Now, I read the black, you read the red. Now, if you have any questions about vocabulary, make sure you ask me in the comment section. Now, there were a lot of idioms. There were a lot of kind of slang words in this conversation. I will go over five of the most useful ones at the end of the lesson. So make sure you watch until then. Also, if this is your first time watching this channel, joining one of my lessons, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Give me a thumbs up and hit that notification bell. All right, so now you'll get a second chance to read along, but this time let's switch. Let's switch, okay? So again, you're going to read red, I'm going to read black, but we're going to switch and you're going to start the conversation. All right, let's go.
Emma, wow, it's been ages. How have you been? Same here. Work's been a bit crazy, but I'm surviving. Just trying to juggle everything, you know? Not much, just the usual. I finally joined that yoga class I kept talking about. It's pretty awesome. It's a hot yoga class. It's a good workout and it helps me unwind. Speaking of which, I'm meeting some friends for brunch. Wanna join us? Same here. I can't function without my morning coffee. I'm actually debating between the caramel latte and my usual black. Good call. I might have to follow your lead and switch to something a bit healthier. Anyway, let's catch up more over brunch. We have so much to talk about. Sounds perfect. Let's meet at the cafe down the street in about an hour. Okay, so that was your second chance to speak. Today, you got to play both sides of this conversation. Now, if you have any questions about the sentences, about the grammar, about the vocabulary, please ask me in the comment section. Now, this is a typical conversation between two friends who haven't seen each other in a while. There are a lot of useful phrases in this conversation. And if I don't go over any of the idioms that you're interested in, you can always ask me. All right, so next, let's go over five of some of the useful idioms from today's conversation. Okay, so idiom number one, swamped with work. Swamped with work. This means I am very busy at work. I'm very overwhelmed. I have too much work. All right, so I'm very busy at work. That is, I'm swamped with work. Number two, juggle everything. Juggle everything. This means that you have multiple tasks, many things that you are doing simultaneously. That means at the same time. So you're juggling all of this work. All right? Juggle everything. Number three, kickstart my day. Kickstart my day. This means we begin or we energize the start of the day. Now, in the conversation, we kick-started my day with caffeine. So I'm going to begin, I'm going to start, I'm going to energize the beginning of my day. And for this conversation, it was by drinking coffee. Number four, cut down on sugar. Cut down on sugar. This means that you will reduce, you will decrease the amount of sugar that you eat. So you're going to decrease the amount of sugar that you eat. Number five, playing catch up. Playing catch up. This means that you are trying to get to the same level as others after falling behind. So you're trying to get to the same level as others after falling behind. Okay, so these are five of the idioms from today's conversation. If you have any questions about these idioms, make sure you ask me 
in the comment section. Now, there were other idioms as well. So if you are not sure about those, again, feel free to ask me. Now, this is a great lesson to improve your speaking and to improve your vocabulary. It's very important that you read the sentences. Try to read it quickly because I'll be going at a native English speaker's speed. If you liked today's lesson, if you think it was useful, if you practiced a lot of speaking, you've learned new phrases, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Give me a thumbs up and hit that notification bell. Until the next lesson, see ya. Thank you very much for watching today's lesson. Today, we practice an English conversation at a coffee shop. Today, we learned a lot of different idioms and phrases. So if you think this was useful, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Give me a thumbs up and hit that notification bell. It's very important that you continue to practice your speaking and try to improve your vocabulary. So make sure you watch my other speaking lessons as well. Until the next time, see ya.